So I'm sitting here in my condo in Bangkok, kind of laughing about this whole passport bro thing. I hear this thing that American women are upset about men traveling to other countries to find a wife or find a girlfriend or whatever, and that's what I did. I went to Japan first, and now I'm in Thailand. I tried India briefly. I might try the Philippines, and I decided a couple of years ago I wanted to get married and have children again. And so I want to find a woman who's under 35 because that's a lot harder to have kids if you're over 35. And if you want to have kids, plural, a younger woman's better. And I tried dating in America um, and I was very flexible. I flew to New York uh, from Florida for first and second date with one woman. I was willing to move to kind of the middle of the country for someone who was a single mom with three kids I tried matching date, matchmaking services. I, I had one matchmaking service to set me up with four dates. One of them actually turned into a three-month relationship, but she's kind of an alcoholic, drug-abusing liar, so that didn't work out. She was hot, but <laughs> um, I used all kinds of dating apps. I did all kinds of things to try to make it work, and I think I just concluded that, generally speaking, American women aren't interested in me. I, you know, I think I'm a good person. I think I'm someone a woman should want to marry and have kids with. But, you know, I mean, I was flexible, like 10 pounds overweight. All right. You know, you're not, I wasn't looking for a model. I didn't mind if someone was good looking. Preferred women who were smart, but I wasn't, you know, I, I was pretty flexible and I would pretty much go anywhere. I'm free. You know, I'm not broke. I'm in pretty good shape. And, you know, whatever it is, uh, American women just weren't interested in me. You know, maybe it's how I look, maybe it's my attitude, whatever it is. So I don't understand why there's this trend of American women getting angry about men going to other countries to find a wife. You don't want me. I couldn't, I struggled to get dates. Two different matchmaking services refused to take my money because they said they couldn't match me. Because I wanted someone under 35 and their base said they didn't want somebody. I'm, I'm 57 now. I was 55 at the time. And American women have their... I remember I had one date. This stands out to me. I had this one date. She was outside the scope. I think she was a single mom. Maybe she was in her early 40s. Um, we meet up for this date. And I can tell she's like checking off boxes. And I don't check all the boxes. And, you know... 10, 15 minutes into the date, I can tell this isn't going to happen. I'm like, all right, cool. And we had a nice dinner, nice conversation. I'm walking her to her car, and we walk past my car. I own a Tesla Model X Plaid. The car lights up as we walk by. And I can see her mind like she's starting to adjust the che the check boxes because all of a sudden I have a cool car. She's like, She literally says, is that your car? And I could tell, like, she's excited about the car. Like, all of a sudden, there's something exciting there. And like, I, I don't know. And that's just one woman. I'm not blaming all women for this. The simple reality is I tried. I tried America. I gave two solid years. I spent money on matchmaking services. I, I made all kinds of efforts. And for whatever reason, American women aren't interested in me. The women under 35, if there are any who want to have children with a stable, competent, experienced, educated, arguably intelligent man who is loving and caring and a good father and has a great tracker. I've got references, okay? I literally, date me a few times, I'll introduce you to my daughters. I did that. Um, you know, you want somebody, what do you want? Do you want somebody who's going to be a good father? I can prove it. You're not going to find somebody, probably not going to find somebody who can prove it as well as I can. And whatever reason, that's not what American women are looking for. So I first went to Japan because I speak Japanese and I lived in Japan before and I liked it. And um, I don't think for, I think Japan's still a possibility, but I'm giving Thailand a try right now. And it seems like women in Thailand are more interested. The dating apps are lighting up. I'm actually getting matches. I'm getting lots of women who are interested in me. Some of them are prostitutes and those, I, I'm pretty, pretty quickly able to spot those and not meet up with them. But I'm, I've had a couple of dates with genuine women. You know, again, I'm not looking for a model. I'm, I, they don't need to be perfect. I, I asked out a woman I met who was a medical engineering researcher. And she said no. Okay. 
right? But I've met plenty of women who are interested and I, I, they've been countered online. Plenty of women are interested. I've had a couple of dates. I've got a second date coming up. Um, and, you know, I don't see why American women care that the men that they don't want are going to other countries to find women who might want us. It's just like, I, I don't understand why you care. That's the thing that I don't get. Like, I'm, I'm not, you know, if I looked, I tried. You know, I've got money, I've got time, I've got all the things that I think a woman should want, and you don't want that. So I'm in a country, and I'm considering other countries where women actually want what I have and who I am. So if you're a woman who's upset about passport bros, the guys that you're willing to date aren't coming here. The guys you aren't willing to date are the ones who are coming here. That's the issue. The guy, the guy, if you want a guy who wants to get married, you had me. Two years, open and open, honest about it. I talked about it on YouTube. I talked about it on X. I, I, I made all kinds of efforts to try to find somebody, and you guys didn't want me. So whatever it is that you want, I don't know if you know what you want, but the guys who are coming to Asia or wherever they're going, I think some guys are going to Colombia or wherever, Eastern Europe, the guys who are going somewhere else to find a wife, are the guys you didn't want. Because if you'd wanted us, we wouldn't have bothered leaving. So that's my rant. Take it for what it is. Good luck, everybody. I'll see how it goes here. Bye-bye.